<laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well-connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time, and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey. Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Shite, somebody doesn't like us. Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. Oh, my good lord. And these fellas hold a nasty grudge. It was only a little bit. Reload from that box at the back. See you. You ain't getting another penny out of here. For the love of God. I see you. I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. I simply can't have gone all your daughters. What the hell did you do to these fellas? I recall it was something to do with money, and possibly some misunderstanding by the fellas' daughter, but the details escape. <laughs> It's gonna take 
take more than one of you, partner! Nobody shoots the diamond! I expect you'll go out of it pissing your pants. <clears throat> this is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. Just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. I'm pretty sure Ratto means rat, my friend. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. trying to kill me. Must have been called it a few times.
I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up on the left. Horses look fresher <laughs> Woo! and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, I saw him shoot a man. Uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? <laughs> I forget. He was a real nice chap, or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one. 